none of us can say with certainty what comes after death, whether we now believe in a final end or in a journey to a kingdom of heaven on the other side depends primarily on our personal convictions. Despite this great uncertainty, some people have already attracted attention who claim to have lived before. But that's not all. Mysteriously, these people are often able to name exact details of a previous life that they shouldn't really know. You want to know what these mysterious stories are all about? Then stay tuned and make up your own mind. Here are several puzzling cases of reincarnation. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most chilling stories of reincarnation so far. Jenny Cockle Ever since she was a little girl, Englishwoman Jenny Cockle was convinced that she was the reincarnation of Irish woman Mary Sutton. Strange feelings and memories crept over the little girl, which apparently came from a previous life. The life story of her former self also included the birth of eight children, although Mary died at the age of 35, giving birth to her last child. Over the years, Jenny grew more and more guilty. She felt that she had let her children down with her early death. Because of this, she made a decision in 1989. She wanted to travel to Ireland to look after her daughters and sons, despite the fact that they were now considerably older than herself. When Jenny arrived in Dublin, she felt oddly familiar there. Although she had never visited the city before, she knew it well and could even point out which shops and buildings had changed over the years. After a few detours, the Englishwoman finally managed to locate Mary Sutton's children. Seven of them were still alive, meaning they were between 62 and 72 years old. And indeed, after meeting Jenny, Sonny was convinced he had stumbled upon his mother's reincarnation. The strange woman was able to enumerate an amazing number of details from the older gentleman's childhood. However, most of the other children were more skeptical. However, some of them at least believed that their mother wanted to bring them a message through Jenny, even if it was not about Mary's reincarnation. Sherry Lee Laird Scottish native Sherry Lee Laird says that John F. Kennedy was a selfish lover. At the same time, she knows the true background of Marilyn Monroe's mysterious death. The Hollywood icon took her own life, but regretted this step when she was dying. How does Sherry know all this? Well, because she's Marilyn Monroe reincarnated. Even as she grew up, Sherry had strange flashbacks from the 1950s, where she caught celebrities like JFK, Frank Sinatra, or Joe DiMaggio. With the help of psychiatrist Adrian Finkelstein, the Scot then delved deeper into her hidden self. At the end of these sessions was the realization that Sherry had once lived as Marilyn Monroe and that the superstar chose suicide because of a broken heart. Dorothy Eady When three-year-old Dorothy Eady fell down the stairs, she was injured so badly that she was briefly pronounced dead. However, the girl managed to fight her way back to life, but from then on, nothing was the same as it had been before. Mysterious dreams, inexplicable visions, and a visit to the British Museum made the English woman firmly believe that she came from ancient Egypt. However, she did not lead the life of a simple citizen there, but embarked on a secret affair with the powerful Pharaoh Seti I. However, when she became pregnant, she committed suicide, revealing the forbidden love affair would have been punishable by death anyway. In her modern life, Dorothy worked as a researcher. On her visits to Egypt, she had demonstrated exceptional knowledge of ancient sites, even locating long-lost ruins. Barbro Carlin in Anne Frank's diary, we're told in detail how her secret life took place in the secret annex in Amsterdam. Even more real, however, are the feelings that the Swede Barbro Carlin had about this oppressive story. After all, she believes that she is Anne Frank reincarnated. 
Born in 1954, Barbro insisted on being called Anne from an early age. However, this was only the beginning. In the years that followed, the girl had to struggle with inexplicable visions in which she saw uniformed men storming up a flight of stairs. When Barbro found out about Anne Frank's life story in class, she couldn't help but think that she must be the reincarnation of the world-famous diarist. Soon after, the Swede traveled to Amsterdam with her parents to see the hiding place in the secret annex. Barbro immediately wondered why some pictures were removed from the wall, a claim confirmed by an employee. When Barbro also met Anne Frank's cousin Buddy Elias, the two hugged each other as if they'd known each other all of their lives. James Leninger the passion of children knows no bounds, and James Leninger, born in 1998, was no exception. From a young age, the boy from San Francisco was almost obsessed with airplanes. However, cruel nightmares soon crept into this childish enthusiasm. James kept dreaming of being in the shoes of a fighter pilot who was shot down during World War II. The soldier also responded to the name James and was stationed on the aircraft carrier USS Natoma Bay. After the recurring dreams just didn't stop, and the boy was able to shine with many technical details of the fighter plane, his parents decided to go in search of clues. During their research, they were amazed to find that a pilot named James Houston was actually in action during World War II, who incredibly belonged to the USS Natoma Bay. In detail, the fighter pilot was shot down somewhere over the Japanese island of Iwo Jima during the Pacific War. Since then, the family has been convinced that James is the reincarnation of the deceased World War II soldier. However, critics point to some gaps in the story and believe that the parents are consciously influencing their son's memories. Billy Campbell when Australian TV star David Campbell showed his two-year-old son a picture of Lady Di, the little one reportedly said, Look, Dad, that's me when I was a princess. The time that followed showed that this was by no means a fleeting glimpse of childish imagination. The little one is said to have insisted on being the Princess of Wales, who died in 1997. He refers to Princes William and Harry as his children, particularly strange. From time to time, Billy also talks about his brother John. In fact, Lady Di's brother died just a few hours after he was born. Bariska Kiprianovich Allegedly, Bariska started speaking just a few months after he was born. At the tender age of one and a half years, the Russian could already read and write. In the years that followed, the child prodigy became more and more interested in space, more precisely, in Mars. Then as he got older, he began to claim the almost unbelievable. In truth, Bariska would be from the Red Planet. He was later reborn on Earth. Previously, almost all Martians had been wiped out by a nuclear war. The boy would have then been sent to our blue home planet to protect the Earth's inhabitants from a similar fate. In detail, the history of our species is even closely linked to that of the Martians. The ancient Egyptians could have sung a song about that. Supposedly, the mystical sphinx hides a forbidden knowledge inside that would change all of our lives forever. Unfortunately, however, Bariska can no longer remember how the super-secret opening mechanism works. Virginia Ty. The Bridey Murphy case triggered a worldwide media response in the 1950s. Housewife Virginia Ty, for example, stated under hypnosis that she had once lived as Bridey Murphy, who was born in Ireland on December 20th, 1798. During the sessions, Virginia was able to give amazing details. For example, in 1818, she married a certain Sean McCarthy, with whom she subsequently moved to Belfast. In 1864, she died falling down a flight of stairs. The story was later picked up in a book and even got its own film. The Pollock Twins 
1957, twin sisters Joanna and Jacqueline Pollock died in a car accident. But a year later, they are said to have come back to life. Naturally, parents John and Florence were devastated by the tragic death of their children. But when Florence became pregnant again shortly thereafter, John was adamant that his wife carried the reincarnations of their daughters in her heart. And incredibly, on October 4, 1958, Florence gave birth to twins again, who were christened Jennifer and Jillian. As the girls grew older, they visited the city where the tragic car accident happened with their parents. But although the two had never been to Hexham before, they could remember a remarkable amount of detail and pinpoint the locations of places they didn't even know. Later, Jennifer and Jillian are said to have talked about a dramatic car accident that they had never experienced themselves. The two also seemed very afraid of driving, although nothing bad ever happened to them while doing so. Sergei Anatolievich Torop Craftsman, policeman, sect leader, Sergei Torop's CV contained many different stations. According to his own statements, the Russian once experienced a spiritual awakening in which a divine message was revealed to him. He was none other than the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. The self-founded Church of the Last Testament now has more than 4,000 followers. However, the idyllic appearance that the religious community is trying to create is deceptive. In addition to consuming a wide range of foods, members are also strictly prohibited from seeking medical assistance. Instead, all diseases are said to be cured with the help of prayer. This may have been the reason why two small children died of pneumonia in the community a few years ago. In September 2020, Sergei, known to his supporters as Vissarion, was arrested on charges of financial and psychological exploitation. The Four-Year-Old Veteran Edward Austrian was a very interesting child with a vivid memory of his past life. From the time he was very young, about four years old, he began to complain to his mother about his sore throat. Around this same time, he began to tell stories about his past life and claimed to have been a veteran in World War I. This was obviously not possible as the boy had only been on this earth for a handful of years. Even though his parents and doctors obviously didn't believe his story about being a war veteran, they couldn't help but wonder how he knew so much about war when he hardly even knew how to talk. To make things more interesting, if it were a rainy or wet day, the pain in his throat would get a lot worse. His mother had taken him to the doctor on several occasions, but no one could find out what was going on. In an effort to help the boy get some relief, the doctors decided that it would be best to remove his tonsils in the hopes that this would clear up the soreness. However, this didn't work and actually had the opposite effect. After removing his tonsils, the pain seemed to have gotten worse. But now there was a compound problem. Not only did his throat hurt, but doctors quickly noted that a cyst had begun to develop in the back of his throat. Interestingly, those who were close to the boy claimed that as he spoke about his previous life as a soldier, the cyst would would grow smaller and smaller. However, if he wasn't allowed to talk about his supposed past life, the cyst would grow larger again and cause him great pain. Truthfully, we have no idea whether or not the story of Edward Austrian is true. In reality, the only person who knows whether the story is real or fake is Edward Austrian, and he insists that the story is as real as it gets. Baby Grandpa a young boy named Gus Taylor shared a story that his family almost could not believe. He claimed from a very young age that he was, in fact, his own grandfather. When he was just 18 months old, he had been able to relate to his parents that he felt as though he had lived a previous life, the life of his own grandpa. Obviously, young children love to make up stories and share them with their family and friends. However, the stories that Gus had begun to share were more real than anyone could have expected. As it would turn out, Gus's grandfather had passed away just a year before Gus was born, though it seems that Gus was already aware of of this, none of his family needed to reveal this to him. Gus felt that he knew his grandfather very well and shared details about his life that only those who were close to him would have known. Without ever meeting him in person, Gus was able to point out his grandfather and family photos and share stories about him without even thinking. Though the story of his 
grandfather and his legend past life would only get creepier from here. Gus's grandpa had a sister who had lost her life in a very disturbing way. No one told Gus about this because they feared he was far too young to be given this type of information. However, one day, Gus revealed to his family that he already knew what had happened to his grandpa's sister. The story he told them was factually accurate, down to the smallest detail. Gus even talked about his grandpa's sister as if he knew her on a personal level. His family obviously pressed for him to reveal how he knew all of this. He told them that when he passed away in his former life, he was given a ticket. He was able to turn in this ticket and return to the world of the living, and he accepted the offer. He was then reborn as Gus Taylor, his own grandson. The story seems too much to believe, but it is allegedly completely true. And now, your opinion is needed. What do you think of the presented cases? Do you believe in reincarnation? We are looking forward to your comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.